Party purpose. Dad. Bring your family together. Optus Family Plan with four SIMs and 250 gigs of data to share. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Meta Regional Playoffs. My name is Ewan Midnight Reed, joined by Benjamin Tico Lee, and I'm sure as you guys can guess, it is Rocket League time about to kick off. Woo! Rocket League! Now this is a game <laughs> where I like to flex my knowledge about, about the game itself. Um, so Rocket League, it's great. And that's about so as much what, as I know about it. What rank are you again, Tico? Uh, what, what rank? Currently, I am in... Um, Champ. Yeah, there it is. It's gonna make sure you get the flex, you know, give us, give us the nice <laughs> I strong didn't, flex. There. I wasn't the one that said it. You mm -hmm. were the one that asked it. Um, but everyone, welcome to the Rocket League Meta <laughs> High School Esports. It's gonna be so much fun. We have two teams from the Northern Territory, I believe. So Christian Brother College versus Darwin High School. So look, they are I these two teams, they are fighting for their spot in the finals against, you know, other states around Australia and Oceania. We can't, we cannot exclude New Zealand because they have a huge team coming up, but we'll talk about that later. New Zealand is a little bit terrifying. Before we dive into our first game, though, of course, we do have to give thanks to our sponsors. You can see them behind myself and Tico. We have, of course, Acer Intel, Optus, Torrens University, and last but not least, Harvey Norman. So, of course, thanks to them for getting us going as we will be diving very quickly, hopefully, into the start of our best of seven series here. Now, the first game, I think we say this most times, Tico, in a best of series. The first game is so critical, not in trying to say, oh, you know, it's going to dictate everything. It's scouting. Let's find mm -hmm. out how the other team plays, who are their strong players. Maybe there's a weakness we can exploit. Are they rotating properly? There's a lot you can work out from just the first game of a series. Yeah, so those who are experienced within the tournaments for Rocket League or best of series for Rocket League, usually if it's a best of seven like we are running today, um, the first game and even the second game can be utilized as seeing how the other team rotates, seeing how the other team plays, because sometimes when you're coming up again, when there's only one tournament a year, especially for Meta High School, you don't really know much about the teams that you're playing up against when you when you play in weekly tournaments yeah you sort of do all up you sort of do know how the other teams play based on you've played them before the weekly tournaments happen you can see vods from uh the twitch clips but when it comes to these yearly tournaments these major ones like meta high school you don't really know how the other team plays so you sort of have to use the first and the second game potentially to feel out how they play, what their rotation style is, who are their stronger players, what, how aggressive they're going to potentially be playing as well. So I do think that if either Sandal Squad or Revelations, uh, being Christian Brother College and Darwin High School, if they want to, if they want to take the advantage, they need to utilize this first game, not as a let's gain momentum and, and kick off this game with a bang, it, they should be using it as a let's gain knowledge about each player. Yeah, and we will be diving into our first game here. Uh, Darwin High School, of course, up against Christian Brothers College. Let's see, make sure everyone loads in and we'll begin to go for our first game again of our best of seven series. First game is going to be a lot of scouting, a lot of investigation. Let's see what he can work out as the clock gets a tick in and the ball gets a fly in there as we're seeing Nynx come in for an early defense but so far Darwin High School has at least gotten the offensive run hmm. yeah they, they do have the power to do so and I do like off the bat like straight off the bat I do say the Christian Brother College they are ready for that defensive uh, attack they're ready for the strong for the strong counter attack as well because they always have that one man push back but they always have that man in the midfield as well getting that one person going for the challenge one person ready to rotate for that yeah 
there. We're seeing Darwin with a lot more of an aggressive style. We do see how all three people of the team up forward. Firehawk, though, did rotate back nice and early, so there shouldn't be any issues holding the line in this situation. So, so far, teams, just, again, it's scouting each other out, trying to feel around as... A little unfortunate there that Longing managed this map, but Mink should be able to clear it out without any issues. <laughs> they try to get a cheeky pinch there. Sebastian, however, he isn't going to be able to get to the ball quick enough to be able to tap that one in. Good rotations coming out so far from both teams. Uh, but I do think Christian Brother College have a bit more of an advantage when it comes to being ready for the counterattacks, being ready, uh, especially just rotating in the defense when they're under the pump. Yeah. We're seeing nice offensive attempt coming to again. A lot of oh, actually, Mink thinks that was a beautiful double take. Yeah, I mean, look at this one, Sebastian. He was it was a good position. He rotated beautifully for that ball. I think he should have put it into that back corner though to alleviate some pressure, let his teammates rotate because putting it in into that corner allows time for you to be able to reset your rotations. Unfortunately. He touched it where the attacker was able to get to that ball once again, and he really could, there was no one behind him to rotate to be able to stop that ball, giving Darwin High School that early lead. Yeah, but will they be able to do anything with that lead is the question, because Christian Brothers, they are looking to be a bit more aggressive with that shot, and Dirty Sandals equalizes it up. Yeah, those hook turns can be very, very dangerous, especially when you utilize the power of the ball against him. If you have, if you can utilize the pace of the ball and add more to it, which is what hook turns do, you're able to, you know, put some so much speed behind the ball, which gives them that first goal for their game two minutes in. Yeah, and now we get to see the team is trying to continue. It's going to be an idea of, okay, let's find out, let's poke ourselves around a little bit, see what openings we can find here. Um, as we're seeing Nyx once again trying to get it around, Sandals will be able to recover it from his teammate. Another set of Abyss Flow, but can he have the ball handling skills? Unfortunately not, gets knocked away from Firehawk. Ooh. Sebastian goes into the air, this could be critical, but once again, they're knocked out of the way. This rough and tumble defense from Darwin's holding the line. Honestly, I love the defense coming out from Darwin though. That Firehawk, a beautiful read off the backboard touch as well. Sebastian trying to trying to get that, but unfortunately he doesn't. Big Boy Jim and Dirty Sandals, however, they were they double committed, which is not necessarily the place they want to be, but they were able to rotate. Dirty Sandals, sorry, Sebastian was able to stop a lot of that pressure. However, Firehawk now wants a chance at it. Trying to make that work as well, but just not able to get the connection. Seeing so Minx going backwards with the ball, not the direction you want to go on, Big Boy. As an attempt to shot coming through. Oh, Sandals couldn't get the connection through. Oh, uh, long rumbus. Not, I mean, not the longing rumbus, sorry. Not the position you want to be, especially when the ball's coming up front of goal. But it didn't manage to get that save. That's going high. That's really bouncing in front of goal. Oh. Hitting the post. Dirty Sandals takes it. You, that's, you got to feel the walk. Look at this. Walks the first. Sorry, didn't look that one. Tries so hard to get in position, but just doesn't get the angle he needs there, and Sandals just pushes it past him. That's a little bit heartbreaking for Hawks. His defense was looking so strong before that. I think no contest on the kickoff. Mm, I think they, they wanted to get a fake there, but no one was really in position to, to be able to get that ball. Sebastian he is going to be able to touch that away, but that goes right over to Firehawk. Let's see if he's going to be able to take that. Good rotations. Coming out from Christian Brother College should be able to take that double touch attempt. They're not going to be able to do so, and now they send it down the other end of the pitch. Yeah, they're going to get in there, but Rhombus is in position. He should be able to hold that out without too many issues. Nynx now is actually the person who recovers it. Sebastian, though, with a nice hit there, should slow the offense down. And now we'll just have clear duty coming up from both teams. Christian um, for the College looking for the opening. Nynx goes in for the snitch there. That is an amazing. It's so incredible. Look at his pulling Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, neither of these teams are, are playing this game like it's the first one, but it almost feels like they have played against each other before. Oh I don't know, my. maybe they have, but oh Nyx taking a dunk. He basically just used the defense to get that in. That is so mean. Look at this, punches it into the defense. It double touches off the defense and goes in like, are you kidding me, Nick? I mean, 
that's what happens when you when you follow through with the ball. He utilized every single part of the of his car body. Not the position they want to be in, but rotations coming through from big boy Jim. He is going to be able to clear that ball up to the other end of the pitch, putting Nix in a bad spot, but he does send it towards the mid and alleviate some pressure for him. Dirty sandals now under the pump from Nix, but he's going to be able to take that floor pinch as well. Ammo coming out is on double demos. Sandals is on a running rampage this game. He thinks it's team deathmatch coming through as a nice dribble from Jimmy. Does not get it around both of them. Currently sitting at two goals apiece here. These teams, you don't really want to go into overtime in the first game, but no one looks to be able to break the defense as we hit 10 seconds to go. Yeah, well, two for two. There is so much potential for overtime, but Gamer Rocket League, he's on the ceiling. There's potential for them to be able to take this one, especially with a shot Ooh. like that. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to keep this one up. He dunks that onto the floor, forcing it into overtime. Overtime in the first game. Uh, Tika, we've been in, we've casted enough today. I know this is probably going to be in every single game coming through here. We'll see how long does the first overtime last. As Nix takes it nice and up, Sandals is able to hold the line, knock the ball off course there. With a full off zone, Nix goes high. Sebastian, he's looking like this is over, but he misses the ball completely. Yeah, a little bit of a whiff, but that isn't going to be able to stop them from continuing to try and getting a couple of shots. Potential double commit, but big boy Jim. Good communication coming out from the Christian Brother College to know who's going for the ball. That leaves an open net, though. If he gets in the right Another spot, Jimmy. oh, he's not going to be able to do so a 1v2. What's he going to do here? Yeah, he's going to have to get back, and it's not going to be enough. Thankfully, the missed shot from Firehawk does allow the defense from Christian Brothers College to get in position. Nick's trying for some long shots, but just can't make them work right now. These aerial long shots, I, I love the attempts. They can be such a pain to defend if you get them right, but they're just not working out right now for either of these teams. Just think Sebastian, he wants it, but Sandals goes into the snatch. Yeah, well, a bit of back and forth coming out between these two teams, but it doesn't stop Nyx from an aggressive attempt. He, I think he trusts his teammates. Well, you should at this level. Definitely needs to trust his teammates to be able to stop that ball in a 2v3 scenario, especially because he pushes up so far. He's playing an aggressive play style, and I love that he's getting potential bumps, as oh. well as look how far up he is. That could have been so good of a shot there. Unfortunately, a bit too much oomph on that one there, as Jimmy tries to do a bit of a setup for one of his team members. It will be Sandler, who is the benefactor, but that will more than likely just be a clear, because I don't see how Jimmy's going to be able to get it past any of the defense here. Not with what we've been seeing so far. Oh, Sebastian looking for the slam in, but Firehawk not going to let that one fly. Jimmy now oh. up in the air. Nix gets his hand in there as well. <laughs> the defense coming out of Darwin is insane. They've been under the gun for the last two minutes, and they're still holding. Yeah, the passing play, however, might potentially be in a dangerous spot. He gets no. a flip reset. That's heading towards the post, but that oh. goes in. Firehawk gets the snipe away. Darwin, they were able to hold off constantly. Like, they had to hold on. They didn't have a choice. And then they finally found their opening. Christian Brothers had no one back on the defense. They got so focused on the offense, they abandoned the concept of defense. Yeah, the thing is, who is ready for those sort of clears except for people in Grand Champ? I mean, high-level Grand Champ professional plays. But, I mean, even then, goals get scored that sort of way. But... I mean, they played that really well in terms of just being able to hold on to their defense, making sure that they get those clears as well. And off the back of that, their clear allowed them to be able to score a goal. Yeah, it was an iffy goal that potentially, if it was like an inch to the left, that probably wouldn't have gone in. But I mean, whatever happens, happens. Revelation or Darwin High School, they do take the early lead, but it's the best of seven series. There is so much potential for the Christian Brother College to be able to bring this one back because first game, fielder game. Now that they're ready, they are, I mean, they're getting comfortable. Yeah, and now you look at this game, you can kind of get a good impression that Darwin High School, they're going to continue playing this, well, very solid defensive style. There's no need for them to play overly aggressive because, well, why would you? You managed to hold on. You managed to basically sustain an unending assault, you're good to go coming into the future games because you know you're not going to crumble easily. Yeah, it's, they they are... Well, they're not really struggling because it's a very even game. They've gone into overtime in the first game, which is going to be... Which which really does indicate that how... I mean, how close of a game this is. But I do want to see a little bit more... 
uh, readiness for the counterattacks coming out from the Christian Brother College because counterattacks are strong from Darwin High School, especially with Nyx pushing up so far. Um, and so, yeah, I, do, I just do think that the Christian Brother College have to take into account that Darwin High School are going to be putting on that counterattack pressure. Yeah, well, we'll get the after game number one, we will give the teams a little bit of time to uh, come up with their battle plans, come up with adjustment, guys. We will be going to a short, only a couple minutes break, so don't go anywhere. Meta and myself and Tika will be back in just a moment's time. Hey guys, welcome back to Meta here. We had, of course, our first game between Darwin High School and Christian Brothers College, which went overtime to the wire, but it did give both teams a bit of a sense about what future games in this best of seven series will be netting towards. Mm, yeah, it's, it's going to be a very, very even game. I wouldn't be surprised if we go to a best of seven just because of how close that first game was. I think both teams did make a couple of mistakes, but there is potential for them to improve. I think they know what sort of mistakes they did, as well as communication is definitely key when it comes to being able to get those rotations cleanly, not go in for double commits, make sure people, well, everyone in their team knows who's going up the aerial and make sure that they're ready for the counterattacks, especially Christian Brother College, because they lost that first game in overtime to a quick counterattack and a good clear coming out from Firehawk. Yeah. Now, coming into the second game, yeah, you would expect some adaptations to come out. For example, yeah, Christian Brothers, as you said before, would look to ensure that they've at least got one person ready on the swap back for the defense. But from the side of Darwin High School, I feel like you don't want to be the guys almost forced to play defense at all times during the game. So perhaps we'll get to see some more aggression coming out of them because you want to be the team that is setting the pace and being constantly forced onto the back foot, being constantly forced to be the ones to play defense, that, that ain't it, Captain. Yeah, well, I mean, I definitely do think that Darwin High School, they don't want to necessarily commit two members to the defense and make that one person push up, especially if it's solo. But 
if Christian Brother College have full possession of the ball and they are in their own half, it is good that Nyx is pushing out to put some pressure on the ball just to make sure that they don't have the time and space to be able to basically just dribble the ball to the halfway point and then Darwin High School come in with the rest of their three members and then say, hey, it's our time when they can get some dribbles going uh, the Christian Brother College. We know that they're capable of doing a couple things, especially at the level they're playing, but we just have to see if Nyx is going to constantly still be pushing up with the possession under Christian Brother College. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, as we're seeing the second kickoff here for our best of seven series. Nyx shows this tendency to be a very aggressive player, so I would not be surprised if we continue to see this almost hyper-aggression solo lead-the-charge style coming out here. Hell, we see him already on the front line doing what he can. Firehawk holding back on the defense. It's a bit of a nice play here. Sebastian goes up wide, but Nick should be able to hold this off without too many problems. Yeah, he does rotate towards that boost, does pick that one up. But I think that they are trying to get some clears. I love the Christian Brother College are keeping it in the offensive half because look at the control Dirty Sandals has. It's pretty good. It's not going to be able to get him the ball over to the other half, but it does alleviate some pressure for his defense, allows them to reset their rotations, which is great. Also, they have time here. Not a good place to put the ball, though. Yeah, well, a lot of clearing out coming up from the side of Darwin. Honestly, I really like this. This is the room that I feel like they need. That's a triple commit. What the? <laughs> they really want to make this work. Rhombus, can he get this set up? Yes, he can. Not, unfortunately, for Nix, though, who will not go in. But I love the attempt. A couple miscommunications coming out from Christian Brother. Their rotations aren't as clean as they were in the first game, but I, Darwin High School are a little bit slow to react and do not take advantage of the misrotation and the double commit. However, they still have possession of the ball and they seem to be going a little bit cleaner on the attack. I want to see someone coming up with him. A good demo, but that's not on target. A little bit wide. But Nings manages to find the setup. Longing Rhombus attempted the shot it did not work out but it was in the corner Nynx is like don't worry lads I'll do this myself a yeah, beautiful goal coming out from Nynx yeah he does capitalize on the demo as well as just making sure that that ball is constantly pressed up we know that Nynx is good for that one so he does so a good dribble he's not going to be able to get a second touch however over Nynx the pressure is now onto Darwin High School they're getting shots but they're not on target but as they say you don't well, you miss every shot you don't take, so might as well try. It's getting locked into the corner there, but with Sebastian dying to the demo, that could slow down the entire offensive momentum coming up from Christian Brothers. So that will more than likely allow a nice clear coming up from Nick. And in oh. fact, they're going to be careful. There's no one back on the defense. This could be double tapped in, but Sandals gets the clear. Yeah, well, they, he managed to get to the ball quick enough, but the rotation's a little bit slow. They do manage to get a man on that back post, though. A beautiful position that he wants to be in, um, just because you can utilize your momentum to be able to get a couple saves off, especially when uh, you do not want to be in the middle of the goal to be able to stop those. But two people on the backboard, they're going to be able to clear that into the corner, alleviate some pressure. Some pressure, but it's still stuck in that position, which is just a bit of a pain because we're seeing... Well, we were seeing an offensive coming of Christian Travis. It looks like it has slowed down a little bit for now, as Rhombus should get a nice clear out. This shouldn't, you know, give him too much breathing room, but it's hanging around midfield right now, which honestly, for Darwin, is fine. You're a goal up. Yes, you want a bit more, but it's not the end of the world if you deny Christian Travis opportunities to attack. Oh, that waterfall down. Awkward spot for Dirty Sandals. Good thing that his team was able to clear that one out. Nix is solo. He's going to have to delay tactic for Firehawk. Not a good spot, but a beautiful save from Longing. That is the kind of thing that really makes you panic in comms there. When you just realize how close that was to being a disaster. Thankfully, the clear coming out from Darwin was enough to give them the time of day. And now seeing Nix on a counter attack does not get the angle and there's no follow up yet. But we're now seeing, yeah, Rhombus, can he set up for Nix? Nix just doesn't have the angle he's looking for here. As a minute and a half left on the clock. They got caught out with a quick counter attack by Darwin High School once again. Unfortunately, it didn't result in a goal, but that's not gonna stop them from trying. I think he's got enough boost to touch oh that God. down. Oh, oh, the defense did manage to push it out the way. Otherwise, you know Rhombus was coming hard for that ball there uh, to try and push the lead to an O. 
right now. We're seeing Christian Brothers, though. They got a minute left on the clock, and this is a very different style out of the last game. We saw last time they were able to play offense for ages, and they were able to, you know, find holes in their opponent's defense. Now that they're the team that is constantly having to, okay, ensure the guy can come back on defense, they can't commit as wholeheartedly um, as they did before, they seem to be almost struggling. Yeah, well, I mean, they are feeling a bit more pressure from Darwin High School. I feel like Darwin High School have turned the switch a little bit. They're saying we need to get a couple more goals going, and yeah, look how high press they're going. Firehawk pushed up when his, one of his teammates was on the halfway line. They did rely on their last teammate to to be able to get ready for that quick counterattack just in case a clear came out from uh, Christian Brother College. But now they're pushed up far, big boy. They're ready oh, for the Jimmy. counter. Oh, I think someone's pushing it in for Jimmy. Jimmy with the double tap, not working out here as there's five seconds left on the clock. This could just be game number two in the favor of Darwin High School. Not a high scoring game, but a game where we get to see Darwin play more aggressive and come out with a win. Yeah, a one for oh. I mean, not a high scoring game. Constant movement coming out from Darwin High School. I loved that they were able to do so, especially when they were rotating, especially when they were able to just make sure that the Christian Brother College were feeling were feeling under the pump. That brick wall was, you know, slowly crumbling. And and I, I feel like a brick wall, and I, I love to I love to say this saying, but there's only so many punches a brick wall can take. How, how many punches can a brick wall take before, it's, before either your hand breaks or the wall crumbles, Zico? Uh, depends on if you're a boxer or not. If you're wearing gloves. <laughs> I've just never heard the expression of wall can only be punched so many times. A wall can be punched so many times before it breaks. And a spe well, I mean, a brick wall takes quite a bit more. And that's why I'm saying Christian Brother College, they have a solid defense. Like I'm saying, these guys, they got good rotations um they tend to double commit sometimes but that doesn't mean that they aren't good at what they do especially when they um especially when they i mean their aerial skill is is, is decent so hmm. i'm calling them a brick wall because brick walls are hard to get through but darwin high school they've managed to take a couple of bricks out of that brick wall i'm saying yeah no i think darwin high school has managed to find a uh you know, a pickaxe, and they're just swinging it in the weak spots there, because they're now 2-0 up in this best of seven series. Um, which means they only need to win two more games, and they will be advancing through the Northern Territory and South Australia block of Meta for Rocket League. So, coming into the next games, if you're on the side of Christian Brothers College, Tico, what do you do? What adaptation do you make to, you know, not go 0-3 down in the series? Well, I mean, Christian Brother College, they potentially could have lost a couple more goals to those quick counterattacks and those clears from Darwin High School. We talked about it at the end of the first game, and I'm going to say it again at the uh, well, at this end of the second game. They need to have that one man ready for that counterattack or for that for that quick clear because that's how that first that's how that overtime goal was scored, and they almost lost another goal to Firehawk the same way with a good clear. Unfortunately, it wasn't on target, but um, Christian Brother College, I love that they're committing a lot to the offense and they, and they want to score a couple goals, and that's great and all, but they don't have people ready to rotate. And when, when they try and get offensive rotations, they need to focus on making sure that they always have that, that second man ready for that uh, second offense, especially when the 50-50 goes wrong, but also he needs to be ready to rotate back. Yeah, well, coming into this third game, Eyes are all going to be on these defensive rotations as we are loading in for our third game. Tico, before we dive into it, any any expectations, or are we are we seeing? Do you think basically that Charles Christian's brothers college is going to be able to shore up its defense, shore up its rotations, and make it work? I think that they just need to focus on their. Well, it actually, it's not that their defensive rotations need to be fixed, even though they are double committing. That can be that's there. That's a communication problem. I think that their offensive rotations need to be cleaned up a little bit because their offensive rotations uh, relies on being able to rotate back. So that one man that's finished the 50-50 challenge, he needs to be the one rotating back for that uh, for that clear, just in case. 
Well, we'll keep our eyes on that one as we're sh uh, loading in to our third game of the best of seven series here. Darwin High School sitting at a very healthy 2-0 and o lead currently in terms of game score. And if game two is anything to go by, these are going to be very close games here. So yes, you could be the game scores. Oh, it's 2-0. This is just so unsettled for Darwin High School. This isn't even close. What are we doing here? But in reality, these teams will be butting heads very tense in this game state here. So coming into it, I feel like the first minute is going to be critical because the first clear and the first offensive round is kind of what sets the tempo and the pacing. So I don't say commit, commit all three members to it, throw themselves forward, but I am saying that players need to ensure that if they want to grab themselves an early, if they want to grab the early momentum, the first kickoff is exactly the place you want to do it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there are so many goals that have been scored off the kickoff, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see Darwin High School have one member cheat up and see if he can get a quick, uh, a quick goal or potentially just put the ball into the offensive half and be able to get their pressure off that. But also, Darwin High School, as we, as we talked about before, they seem to have quite an offensive style gameplay. So with Knicks pressing up, especially when the Christian brother have a lot of, well, have the possession of the ball, I do think that Darwin High School have a little bit more priority when it comes to being able to score those goals and get those rotations uh, going. So I, I just I just want to make I, I just think that Christian Brother College have a little bit to work on when it comes to the rotations and hopefully they do clean that up when it comes to that and you know getting into our third game I want to see what they did what they've decided they want to change up well, Only time will tell Tico. Thankfully the time is now coming into game number three five minutes on the clock The ball is in position and our boys are throwing themselves at it there Dirty Sandals does get the first clear it goes over to Nick for Sebastian trying to contest it nice and early but ball just hanging around midfield for now firehawk of an attempt i don't see this working out are you oh. kidding me firehawk <laughs> are you kidding me that was beautiful look at this he takes a punt pu puts it off the backboard i don't think that they were ready <laughs> look there's potential that firehawk could have gone for the double tap there but um I think they were expecting Firehawk to do that as well. That's why he went, they were so, you know, they were trying to get up to that ball really quickly. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get to the ball. Firehawk capitalizes on that one, and they are able to score an easy first goal. But, I mean, it's, it's 30 seconds in. They still have potential to come back into it. Yeah, there's still plenty of time, plenty of Rocket League to go in our third game here. As we're seeing Christian Brothers College not exactly happy at how this game kicked off. A fast and aggressive offense coming out of them. They want to try and stabilize the game. So to say, <laughs> Rob is running into his teammate here. Um, and oh no, Sebastian misses the aerial. That could be a bit of a problem there. As a nice clear coming out from Longing Rhombus set up the Ninks into the air. That is a little bit off though from the shot itself. So I'm not really sure if the offense can continue here because everyone's missing the ball. Look, I think people just want to get a touch on the ball at this point, but that bounces off the cross, uh, not the cross, but the upright. I'm not going to be able to get anything from that one. Look at these, though. They're going to get some good clears going, and I mean, that's the style that Darwin High School is playing right now. Get the clears going, send it down the other way. Yeah, Nick, take the ball. Yeah, oh, Firehawk able to get the clear, though. That dribble could have been so crucial, but it was not going to net anything, sadly, there, as Nick gets once again a nice clear here. It's an attempted setup in the middle, but there's just no follow through. Surely a rebound won't go off into that one. We'll see Rhombus for the contest. Jimmy oh. up in the air. Rhombus is get out of here, boy. You're not doing that one in front of my face. No, I mean, they're ready. They, uh, even though Christian Brother College are good with the aerials, the Darwin High School are not letting them show off what they're capable of doing. And yeah, he's trying to take a dribble. No, nah, we're not going to let him do that. Hmm. Constantly causing a disruption can be such a menace because... Once you're up in the air, yes, a good player can control the car very easily, but controlling the ball up in the air when someone is like slapping it out of your arms of his wheels is so annoying. So it's good to see this aerial contestant constantly going in as Nick tries to get the hop over Jimmy. It won't matter when Sandals comes in for the clear though. Yeah, but they are getting good offensive pressure. I love that Sebastian is sitting back ready for that counterattack, maybe listening to this uh, cast, but um long 
Longing Rhombus. I love it. It's an interesting name. Nobody... You can tell, you can tell he's, a math, he's a math player. A math student. <laughs> Get that geometry going. Uh, <laughs> especially with... Oh, Nyx! That is a beautiful shot there. Look at the setup that he said. Like, sounds like, don't worry, lads, I'll clear this. And Nick says, yeah, you'll clear it into your goal. Mm. It, it was not his position that he wanted to put the ball in. He set that ball up beautifully for Nyx. I mean, I think he should have put his car back a little bit, put that into the corner, but unfortunately he did not do so, didn't read that. Nyx did read that even better, like a book, and he was able to take that goal, bringing them to a 2-0 advantage. Yeah, and this is now a bit more of a comfortable lead if you're on the side of Darwin High School, because one stray goal can slip past your defenses, but two, it's a lot less likely. I think Firehawk playing aggressive here. Nyx on the follow through as well, but <laughs> goes a bit too high there. Will be forced to back up. Rhombus, not exactly the clear you're looking for. That should, yeah, get rammed off the ball. And Firehawk, he's got the follow through. Mind the double tap. No, beautiful defense to knock it wide. Mm. And big boy Jim, he's gonna try and take a dribble, passes it over. A good ghost from oh. Sebastian. One more hit, come on, put it in, Jimmy, come on! Oh, it's so close, unfortunately not able to make that one work. But a really nice offensive attempt from Christian Boys. But where was Jimmy's backup? Nah, it, it really wasn't there. Puts that into the corner from Nyx. Maybe should have gotten a clear there, but that gives positional power for to, to Dirty Sandals. He's not gonna take that one, however, alleviating some pressure. <laughs> Dirty Sandals is I hold. Firehawk just dives into death. He saw Sam's like, nah, I can commit to this, boys. Commits himself back to base is what he can do there. As Firehawk looking to get a little bit of revenge after that demo coming through, jumps up. Can he get the connection? Not able to get the angle, unfortunately, there. And he's doing all this with no boost. Hmm. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you don't need boost. You've got, you've got so much potential to pick up speed with your flips, with your... I mean, wave dashes, I almost forgot the name of that one. But now, a lot of pressure coming out from Darwin High School. They got basically three members committing up to this offense, which I do love to see, especially when they know that Christian Brother College don't have as much clear power or potential. And Nyx, Nyx. No way. That was <laughs> filthy. I, I really want to see how he dribbles his ball around. So he, he scoots it over Sebastian. Oh! <laughs> Get somewhat of a flick over Dirty Sandals as well. Uh, maybe not the most textbook flip in the book, but it does the job either way. Hits the upright as well, and then he's going to be able to take that lead. 3 0 advantage. They're sitting comfortable. Dirty Sandals, uh, consolation goal, I do think. Yeah, that's a consolation. <laughs> Dirty Sandals in chat, like overtime. Can we pull it off? Like, I'm not saying Two. you can't. Yeah. But. You need to pretty much score off the kickoff, is what yeah. you have to do. You need to score and two I kickoff goals. Don't see, nope. Yeah, no, I don't see that happening. Sandals will at least try and stabilize it, but this is going to be game number three going in favor of Darwin High School. One more, and that's a wrap. Yeah, best of seven or first of four, same thing. It's it's going to be a hill of a climb for, De uh, for a Sandals squad or, or Christian Brother College to bring back there to bring back their team into this game especially when they are three and oh down in a best of seven i i as i keep saying they are ready for that counter attack though i love that they have put that one man back ready for that one but yeah. in saying that they're committing that one man too much into the defense it, it might be it might be a little bit of contradictory to what i've been saying but as i did say before it does come off the back of their offense because they need to have that one man ready to rotate back. He doesn't need to stay back the entire time because if they do alleviate pressure on the attack, they score less goals. So they do need to push that one man up, but they also need to make sure that... Well, they do need to... Okay, so they need to put three men up, but they also need to make sure that people are ready to rotate back. Again, I think it sounds contradictory in theory, but it actually makes a lot of sense. There is very easily a thing which is playing too defensively which is you're so afraid to push up that you're never going to get any goal because you're not playing an offense so you need to find that delicate balance of okay i need to be rotating back into the defense in this position and then okay it's my turn to play offense it's my turn to go through the 50 50 and 
part of that I think is a bit more experience and a bit more just understanding of how the game is played on the highest level. Um, and part of it is communication and confidence. Because for these guys especially, they don't often play in front of a large audience. They don't often play a stream game that is have so much in stake. So we haven't really brought it up um, today, but nerves is perhaps something that may be getting to these guys as well. And when people are nervous, they have a tendency to play on the defensive meta. Mm, yeah, definitely so. And if it also a big thing for nerves is a lot of whiffs do potentially come out as well, uh, not being able to hit the ball, especially aerials, because we know that, that is a mechanic that a lot of lower tier players aren't very comfortable with. And even at the high tiers, sometimes you even get some backflips, you still get some whiffs coming off the uh, coming off the walls in the backboard. So um, nerves can definitely be a big part when it comes to these tournament plays. And so I do think that both teams are, are, are keeping it cool. But in that first minute or so, we did see a couple whiffs, we did see a couple misses. So hmm. I think they just need to sort of reset themselves and make sure that they know that they're capable players. They know that they know how to play this game. All they really need to do is make sure that they're getting their rotations quickly. They need to make sure that, um, really, is, is rotations. No, rotations is the biggest part when it comes to tournament play, so they need to make sure they are keeping on top of that. Well, let's see if they can pull it off or not coming into our fourth and potentially final game here. As Darwin High School looking to continue the offense here and on the back of Ninx, who's been playing very well throughout the course of this series so far. We'll see, can he give it going as Jimmy gets a mid-air demo. My be the best kind of demo. But Sandals gets punted out of the way on his attempt of an offense. Ninx gets one tap. Can he get the angle? Not a bit too much oomph on that first tap. Hmm. Yeah, Big Boy Jim is sending it down the other way. Good clear, but that isn't going to stop them just yet. Look at this, though. I mean, it's their play style. It's what they do all the time. Punt the ball, see if they can get anything off the back of it. Goes up onto the backboard, though. Sebastian, not a good enough clear to be able to take that away from goal. Yeah, but they did double commit to defense well, but at least it helped. That's the important thing now for Christian Brothers, is they just need to keep the ball out of their goal and actually give themselves the opportunities to play the offense. So we'll see if that's able to net itself, because right now, the ball has been mostly sitting in their half, and they haven't exactly been able to do a whole turn here, as Ninx, surprise, surprise, is playing aggressive. Yeah, but Wait, that's not a spot they want to be in. No one rotated towards that back post, or the rotations were a bit slow coming out from longing, uh, longing rhombus. So that goal does go in favor of Christian Brother College. They took the early advantage. Yeah, so apparently Firehawk had a few uh, connection issues. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, longing horns got this. 2v3. 2v3, easy for Darwin High School. Uh, Jimmy just a, straight up missed. Yeah, a bit of a misplay when it came to that. He did not hold on to his uh, to his handbrake button, whichever he might have binded that one to. But yeah, we I, I, there is potential that they will have to pause this game just because they are waiting for Firehawk to rejoin this one. Yeah, uh, uh, this is a, so. What do you do in this situation here? Do you well? The the standard thing to do here is to restart the game. <clears throat> Big boy Jimmy. Let's see what he's capable of. He's Look gonna own goal this as well. So you know, yeah, you thought he's gonna own goal this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big that Boy was, Jim. Like, Look at the aerial control though. Yeah, it's great. I mean, good. he goes backwards, keep the ball on his nose, gets a triple touch, even though I mean it, it just bounced between him and, the, and him and him and the wall. But we are going to restart this game. So, unfortunately yeah. for Firehawk, they will have to restart this game. But it does give both teams, uh, I, uh, it does give Christian Brother another chance to come back and do it. Exactly. Um, anyway, I, it's a bit unfortunate, but, you know, it, it do be like that sometimes. If nothing else, uh, credit to both these teams to be, you know, be like, hey, look, let's just, you know, clean the... It may be, it's a very important game for the side of Darwin High School, but both are willing to be like, look, you know, let's, if we, whoever wins this, they win it fairly. We're not going to try and abuse mm. the fact that you guys are a man down. So they will, it is a clean slate as we load back into our fourth game here of the series. But so far, coming into the fourth game, we did see, I'm not going to say more safety coming out of Christian Brothers, 
but they were playing a bit bit stronger with their rotations. Yeah, well, I mean, I do like that they're communicating a lot better. Christian Brother College, compared to their first game, and actually their third game as well, they, getting what we saw off that fourth game, which really wasn't much, um, they might have discussed what they needed to do to be able to come back into this game. And is he going to join? Firehawk? Oh, I'm Firehawk. You got this, buddy. Okay. Yeah, there, there he is. is. Okay. Big boy. There he is. Okay, he's good. Uh, controller DC, unfortunately, but tends to happen when you're playing on a wireless mo remote. Plug him in. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you could just use your keyboard. I'm just saying. Yeah, but who plays keyboard? Except Me. for, I don't know, Dignitas. But... <laughs> Rude. Doesn't matter. They're back. Uh, I'm not saying Dignitas is bad. I'm just saying they play on keyboard <laughs> and mouse, and keyboard Always. and mouse players are for noobs. <laughs> you, you made an enemy. I'm kidding. Of I'm kidding. I, I have. I have. I have. Rhombus trying to get the offensive there, not working itself out. But we're seeing once again Darwin High School. Now that they have you know, been given a bit of room to breathe, they were looking strong. But Christian Rub is getting a nice offensive run too. Mm, yeah, Sebastian keeping that pressure up. He's gonna be able to do so. Dirty Sandals. Uh, it does get a good spot. He puts that into the corner, but a demo coming out on top of him. They're trying to get some clears going, but it's not really working into their favor until Firehawk comes in. Puts that in front of net. No one's yeah. there for it, though. Yeah, no one really comes in. Normally, you see Firehawk attacking one side and Nynx set up on the other, but Nynx was slow. He was not actually able to get into the position where we typically expect him to be in that position. As Firehawk gets punished by Jimmy for trying to play offense. Mm, yeah, good rotations coming out from Dirty Sandals. He's on that back post. Beautiful spot that he wants to see. Big boy Jimmy, however, is not going to be able to get the clears going. Doesn't have enough boost to do so. Dirty Sandals is going to be able to put that into their corner. Alleviate some pressure off for the defense as well. They are constantly putting pressure on, loving their rotations. No one is back in their net, though. Yeah, Chris, that could have been brutally punished. They are thankful in a way that they were able to block the offensive rerun, but it's still very dangerous to be willing to commit that heavily to just the offense. They weren't punished for it this time, as Firehawk gets probably a bit too more of a tense clear than he was hoping for. But we'll see, will they get punished for it in the future? So I think Jimmy trying to set up for Sebastian, but Nix, unsurprisingly, is getting in, getting invested. Oh, that's put right in front of Ned oh, if he takes that. Off the hit. upright. Oh, My horse is a bit too high. Jimmy needs to clear. The demo comes out at the last second. Nix trying to set up an aerial, but not going to be able to do it as he gets just pushed away. Unfortunate spot to be put in, but that isn't going to stop them just yet. He's trying to get something off the ceiling. Not going to be able to do so. Nix keeping the pressure up, trying to get a pass over. Puts it into the other corner. Too much pace on the ball. However, that does give Longing Rumbus another opportunity. No one is there to put that into net, though. Darwin's attack seems almost stagnated. One person's up on the offense position, and then someone else is like five seconds too slow. It, it seems a little bit all out of sync coming in from the voice of Darwin. We'll see, will they get punished for it? Because we get to see another run here from Sandals. The ball controls looks pretty. Nix misses it completely, and Sandals says thank you very much. That is so unfortunate, but look at this. Dirty Sandals taking it all the other end of the way. Takes a shot from midway. I just think that was unfortunate that Darwin High School didn't have enough boost to pick up that goal. I mean, they weren't able to get the save. Someone probably should have gone off the backboard to be able to get some air onto their hits and potentially save that. Big boy, double touch incoming. Oh, not having to get the connection. It's so close. One more hit will do, but it's not going to go in there. So close, Christians. Christian Brothers trying to make this work. It's offensive coming out now is really well timed because there's a minute and 45 left on the clock and they've got themselves the lead. Well, this is looking good for them. I'm loving the pressure and I'm loving that they are going to be able to take this down the other end of the pitch. But Nynx, if ever, is the most dangerous person to come up against, especially when you're on the defense. But longing Rhombus is definitely someone you do not want to compete against either when it comes to those sort of things. But they have possession now. Let's see if they can maintain it. Okay. The double tap thing's not going to connect. Can he get around in circles? Not without Firehawk getting invested, though. Rhombus not able to get the connection either. 
everyone just was skimming the ball here. But Darwin High School, they need to make this work. Rhombus might be getting set up. He gets it high. Where's the fall through in the center? It's not there. And it comes down to experience as well when they want to get these offensive rotations. It's, it, it's paired with boost management as well. And it's good that Darwin High School are making sure that they always have that two men up. But they also need to make sure that their boost is still up. And even if they don't have that third member with that third boost, they have to make sure those two members are still keeping the ball up in the offense, ready for that third man to come back. But now the pressure is keeping up for the Christian Brother College. They need to maintain this lead for the next 30 seconds. And they should be able to. He's getting so close, but Ninx gets it up into the air. Where's the clean? No one's able to stop him just yet. Sandals tries to do what he can. Rhombus misses that completely, but Firehawk up in the air. This could be a setup, but Nick has no boost. There is no way he can get involved in the play. He tries to do a pass, so you know, he gets it wide. This is so critical. Darwin, they need to make something work if they want to prevent an additional game, but the ball's stuck on the ground. It doesn't look good. Man, that is going to be Christian Brothers College getting their first win under their belt. Hey, a beautiful display of what they're capable of, but still a mountain to climb and there is potential for a reverse sweep yeah unfortunately it is going to be a large hill to climb so not 4-0 thank gosh uh for christian brother college but darwin high school are not going to let them have it easy they are going to have to work for this if they want to push over into the finals and represent their state when it comes to nationals but they are going to be trying so much now, coming into this game here, we did see... It felt like Darwin High School's offense was all over the place. There were some times where Ninx was setting up almost a one-man style attack. There were other times where the ball was set up perfectly and then Sonorum was in position. There were other times we saw Firehawk attacking from one side. And Ninx, when we expect him to be on the other side setting up to catch the ball, he just wasn't there. So it seems like maybe Darwin are a little bit out of whack here coming into this fifth game here. Hopefully they do manage to sync up again because you can't be falling apart like that, especially in such a high pressure game. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, Darwin High School, they are putting the pressure on, but as we saw during that game, there were a couple mistakes coming out from Christian Brother College. Yeah, they won the game, but we saw there was that one point where three members were pushed up unfortunately that they uh, it was unfortunate for darwin high school that they weren't able to capitalize onto that one onto that mistake but it does show the christian brother college aren't getting their offensive rotations as clean as possible especially when they don't have that man ready for that defense they have done that a couple times and darwin high school have tried to capitalize on it unfortunately they haven't now sandal squad they did so well to maintain that lead though in saying that and sorry christian brother college they did so well to maintain their lead and darwin high school they need to put some pressure on the offense not just getting those clears they need to make sure that they carry the ball over now i do have some fun information for you tico uh courtesy not of me but courtesy of uh, a man in the chat mm. uh Sco scoobies I, I hope i pronounced that correctly apparently these two teams have met before and it was a reverse sweep uh, for Christian Brothers College against Darwin High School. I'm not saying that history is going to repeat itself. I'm just saying that the possibility is real. Mm. Yeah, there is every chance for it to happen. And they do they do look like they are going towards that path. And I, I honestly think that there is potential for them to do so, especially when it's done before. But as I keep saying... Reverse sweeps are hard. Best of seven reverse sweeps are even harder because they need to win four games in a row. They've won the first one. Yeah, okay. Now they need to win the second, third, and fourth to be able to take this game away from Darwin High School. And I really don't think Darwin High School are going to be giving it to them easy, especially the way they've been playing. Now, Christian Brother College, they need to make sure that... Well, I sound like a broken record now, but the rotations need to be cleaner. Yeah, they do... Well, guys, what we like to hear is we go. We've had, of course, four very intense games here. What we are going to do, guys, is take a little bit of a break, but do not go anywhere as our next game, game number five, we ride around the corner.
and we are head first diving into the fifth game of this series here. Christian Brown, his and brothers college going up against Darwin High School here. And these teams are wasting no time with his offensive style. Darwin High School trying to end this series, denying their first sweep. Yeah, but I mean, as we've been told before, Christian Brother College, they've done a reverse sweep. Not exactly sure if it was the best of seven, but they have done so before. So look at the pressure that they're already putting up. Christian Brother College, they want to make sure that their offensive pressure is heard. There's potential for a double tap there. He's not going to be able to do so. A good clear from Darwin High School. That doesn't alleviate the pressure, though. Yeah, buys them a little bit of time for now. As Firehawk goes for a long distance clear, that is actually really nice. And maybe gives the opening that Darwin High School need in this sort of situation. Because right now, they are being pressured up on and against the Sandals. Rotating back Nate, he can handle the ball well, but not when Sebastian's able to hold the line like that. Tries to get a flip there. A flick, sorry. Not going to be able to do so. But look at these shots. They're more on target. More pressure going up. Sebastian Go back. isn't going to be able to do so. But Nick's taking it slow. Yeah, tries to take it slow. But unfortunately, the Envy didn't have exactly as much control over the ball as they were hoping for. As Sebastian tries to get something working here. Jimmy shouldn't be able to get past Firehawk. But Rhombus gets bumped around a little bit there. Can be rather annoying to try and handle that situation. Firehawk though should be back in time. Sebastian a bit too high on the shot. Yeah, talking about control though, it does seem like Christian Brother College are in more control when it comes to this game. But that isn't going to stop Darwin High School from putting a lot of shots onto net. And not the best clear that they want to be able to do. But Firehawk is not going to have that on target. Bumps Big Boy Jim into that yeah. 100 boost. Yeah, wasn't able to steal the boost away, which can be a little annoying. But it could be the end of the world. Uh, as we're seeing here, he got boost anyway, he did manage to try to do a nice bit of a clear. And Nynx should be able to clear this out without too many problems. Although, with Dirty Sandals stealing it away from him, that can be annoying. Balls in front, Jimmy tries to simply punt it in. Rhombus with a really nice defensive rotation there, does hold the line for now. Yeah, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Nyx demoing Dirty Sandals, he's like, I've had enough of you. Get out of this game. Well, at least for, you know, five seconds. Oh, um, no. No, 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 no. That's not how you want to hook this situation to be going. Of all balls to miss, it's the slow one that catches him off guard. Unfortunately for Longing Rombos, I think he expected Big Boy Jim to put that ball a little bit more pace onto the ball. Unfortunately, he did not. Gets a little bit of an unfortunate whiff and uh, gives Christian Brother College another early advantage it's the start of the reverse sweep tico that's got to be what they're thinking in this situation from the side of darwin high school you've got to be abundantly aware that they've done it before they'll do it again if you give them the opening minx though he kind of needs to be the guy we expect this guy we expect to be leading the charge in this sort of situation firehawk gets a bit of a cheeky clear there we are seeing rumbus getting the mid-air demo minx now on the follow through the shot will be a little bit on the wider side of things Mm, but it does seem like the Christian Brother College, they have more confidence when it comes to their gameplay. Look at how they're rotating. Look at how they're going up for these 50-50s. They seem like they want this ball a lot more than what we fought so in the first three games, which is amazing to see. Really nice flick there. And a 10 from Jimmy to get it in from the top half will not work there, unfortunately. But really nice attempt to fight for the ball there. Dirty Sound does keep it out of the danger zone. Nix with a nice sharp turn to try and you know, bring it back in. Rhombus, he could have the opening if he's willing to play aggressive. That's a setup in mid. Firehawk's willing to take it and gets it in. A beautiful pass coming out from his teammate as well. Uh, potential double commit coming out from the Christian Brother College as well. But they needed to be able to get there. So pass, slots past all three members. Firehawk takes what he can to be able to bring his team back into this game. And with a minute and a half left and the even scoreline, I do think the Christian Brother College, they're doing well, but they need to solidify their communication to be able to take this game away. And from then, from the side of Christian Brother, they've always got to, oh my God, that's so risky to clear there. Uh, they've got to be in a constant awareness that one mistake is all it takes for them to be done. So they mm. have to keep playing aggressive. They have to keep playing smart. And they have to keep alleviating whatever mistakes they can. And part of that is in their clears. Some of their clears are looking a little bit lazy. You like the skirmish in front of their goal right now. Firehawk does not have the boost available to make that play work. 
the hold off here from Nick should be good for now. But with 40 seconds left on the clock, you've got to be really worried for either of these teams because one mistake is all it's going to take. Yeah, definitely. I mean, both goals have been scored off mistakes and they do need to make sure that they don't, well, their mistakes always happen, but they do need to make sure they minimize the amount of mistakes that are being taken because look, 20 seconds left, there's potential for this to go into overtime and overtime puts so much pressure, especially on the team that is down in the series. So, and if they lose the next game, or if they lose this game, they are going to have to. There's potential for Set up for Jimmy. Rhombus does get the clear. It does look more and more like an overtime game, Tico, unless Rhombus and Nynx can get this to work. I don't see it with Nynx having no boost. Actually, he has 100 now. He might be able to do it, but Sandals pushes it down. This is do or die for Christian Brothers College. The golden goal, it sums up everything here as Nynx misses it completely, but the nice clear coming out should be enough. An awkward bounce as well, makes it into a 1v1, tries to get a flick off the backboard to his teammate, a really good clear to be able to take that or alleviate the pressure. That Nynx does get a bit of a wide hit there as well, past over Sebastian and Sandals, who tried to a little bit of a setup at Rhombus, Fighting for the ball as well. Every movement oh, is no. critical here. The ball, dangerous clear position. Thankfully, Sandal was in position. A follow up through the defense did rotate back. That was Jimmy Firehawk gunning for Sebastian. You can tell he had a demo in his eyes. Nick's able to hold the line. That Sandal's not willing to let that go just yet. No, the pressure is on coming out from the Christian Brother College, but they are getting the rotations cleaner. Dirty Sandals is sitting back waiting for those quick counter attacks. They're ready for this one this time. And they, I mean, they use the first three games as a feeling instead of just the first one, but that doesn't matter if oh. they do. <laughs> oh, calls the line with the follow through. He does it again. Are you kidding me? Gets a wheel on the ball. Rhombus now gets a good enough clear to buy a little bit more time. Sand, although he really wants to try and make this work. Can he get it around Firehawk? No, he can't. This man's defense is impeccable in this overtime. He does not give a damn what you're throwing at him. He will hold it. Minna, can we call their defense a brick wall now? These teams are holding strong a minute and a half in, and there have been so many oh. shots. There have been so <laughs> many saves. They just need to be able to slot this one in. Nick says boost. Oh. Yeah, Nix is good. That was so close there. Thankfully, Sebastian was able to keep the line holding. Jimmy over one, two punch. Will it be enough? A bit too wide on that one there. Now, Darwin. Will they get a turn to play offense? Sandals doesn't get the connection. Rhombus trying to do what he can, but Sebastian proving a menace here. Nynx trying to do a setup almost clears in front of the goal, but there's no real follow up through. Firehawk does what he can. Bit too high, though, hits the crossbar, but damn, that was close. Unfortunate bounce, big boy Jim. He has got the clear in his it's side. Firehawk. No, he's got oh, the rotations. Like... He's good there, but it... <laughs> pressure's getting to me, man. The pressure is getting to me. <laughs> I don't know how these guys are going to be able to take this, especially two minutes in, but they have the control. They're sitting steady. I'd love to know what the place Heart Race is sitting at right now, because I don't want to know what mine's at. And I'm just casting the damn game. As Firehawk goes up, Jimmy is able to attempt to get it clear. They're not going to get a close connection. Sandals trying to do what he can, but Rhombus proving a menace right now whenever they try and move Firehawk. We're not seeing a ton of him on the offense, and that's because his defense has been damn solid since overtime here. Constant offense coming out from Darwin High School. But now Christian's brothers gets a retaliation move, but just not able to work. Firehawk gets the clear. Jimmy goes up in the air with Ming, but it will not work. A good spot to put the ball coming out from Sebastian, alleviating pressure, putting it up into the midfield. Dirty Sandals seeing what he can do there, but they're not going to be able to put anything. Rotations clean coming out from Big Boy Jim, rotating the back post. These guys, I love their defensive rotations. They're always putting that one man into the back post just to make sure that stuff like that doesn't happen. <laughs> that was so good. It's like in front of the goal. One more hit will do it. Nice. Can he get the connection? No, he can't. And now the ball's gone wide. Firehawk needs to whack that wide. He does manage to hold on the line for his team. Well, he needs to get past Sebastian a bit too wide with that connection there. This game is on a nice edge, Tico. As Jimmy, he looks to be charging forwards. Can he get the connection that ends it? It does not look it. As Rhombus getting the clear, that should be a donation over to Nix, who gets it wide. This is probably one of the longer overtimes I have ever seen, especially when it comes to tournament play. But Firehawk now pushing it down, rotated Back. towards defense. He's got boost. He knows what he's going to be able to do there. Gets a good clear down the side. Longing Rhombus is the only one there. That punts it up, not gonna waterfall down. 
Oh, Rhombus does get the clear. Sandals trying to abuse that, but not really able to get a Nyx, that's looking good, but the double defense. Normally, I criticize double commits, but that's when it's worth. You have to go for that. Yeah, it gets a good pinch, but that does oh, mean that is not going to be put in a good spot. In comes Dirty Sandals, tries to get the dribble. A good demo from Nings to be able to alleviate that pressure. Puts it into the corner. They're trying to put something there, but... Oh, it's right in front of the goal. You're going to do that. Now, Jen gets the goal. That is going to be Christian fighting back the reverse sweep. It ain't over yet. That is not a good save. I mean, Firehawk, a really good attempt there, but he should have left that for his teammate who is coming off the backboard, putting his momentum to good use because... Firehawk wasn't in a good spot to be able to save that. He was underneath the ball. He put it into that. Uh, he put it into the crossbar, which kept the ball right in front of goal. Should have left that for his teammate. Unfortunately, he didn't do so, which meant that they left the ball in front of goal. Put that ball right in front of goal for Big Boy Jim to be able to take that, giving them another fighting chance. On the back of a game where we saw some of the most clutch defense coming out of Firehawk throughout the entirety of it. And now to see one bad decision, one mistake from Firehawk, get us to, get us to game number six is ridiculous, but that's how it be sometimes, Tico. I'm sure of all people, you know this is the best. One mistake is all it can take to throw the game out of whack. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, guys. I mean, whew, look, I think, I need to stop drinking energy drinks because my heartbeat is pounding because <laughs> that overtime went on for so long. There was so much pressure being put on by both teams and just literally just one mistake happened mm -hmm. to, to score the goal for for Christian Brother College. And oh my gosh, I, I really think that the Christian Brother College have potential to bring this reverse sweep back. They are now two for three. They've done it before, they'll do it again from the looks of it, Tico. Coming into game number six here, two goals, two, three, two, sorry, two games to three. Currently still in favor of Darwin High School. But for Darwin, you've got to start being nervous because you've now, you had a fantastic lead and now it's fallen apart completely. And this is the final game of the safety net you have. You do not want to be getting to the do or die game that is game number seven here. And we're seeing offensive styles coming out of Darwin here. They know they don't want to get into that late game. Yeah, but they are utilizing the momentum from the first or from the previous two games and they are looking to push it even further. And I mean, that's how you, you that's how you get the reverse sweep going. But that does mean that they are playing a rather aggressive style and are looking to set the pace for a quick game. Yeah, when you do connect on the ball there, we see Jimmy trying to set up some nice offense with the defensive clear. No, boxing Gunners, all three members of Darwin are in that little corner there. Maybe a little bit of an over-retaliation out of nerves coming through here. As you drop two games in a row now, you've got to be worried about the mentality coming up from Darwin High School members because, again, every mistake you're going to be beating yourself up on. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, every mistake, especially backflips, especially uh, whiffs, you are going to be kicking yourself for, but... I do think that they are recovering from their mistakes. They know what they need to do to be able to come back into this game. They have been doing it so well, Christian Brother College. And look, they got Dirty Sandals ready. Not necessarily the best spot to be in, but he knows what he needs to do to be able to get those clears going. Hmm. The thing Firehawk going up in CA here. It's, it's more just posturing to the... Oh, that looks good from Rhombus! And says thank you very much. Uh, he is going to be able to take those... Big boy Jim, he takes the dribble, passes it. Well, not passes it, tries to get a dribble, but not going to be able to get a flick over Longy Rhombus. And that was a beautiful spot to be able to take it. Scores it into the middle, easy open goal, and no one in the rotation was ready to be able to take that. And Darwin, both these teams are playing very differently to how we got to see them in that overtime. They're both frantic, they're both all over the joint. It seems to be a bit more passive in comparison, at least for now, as that continue. We'll see as Jim trying to get a bit clear in front of the goals, a little bit on the more risky side of things here. Nix should be able to do this without too many problems here. Jimmy, I mean, the aggression coming out is fine, but he's got no backup. Ooh, Firehawk, a little bit late to that 50-50, but 
Yeah, potential dunk coming out, but they weren't able to do anything with that one. Good rotations coming out from Christian Brother College to get that defensive structure going. However, they're going to be able to clear that one. A good alleviation of pressure from Firehawk to put it into the corner. In comes the clear. And it was a double commit as well. You know, we've seen that quite a bit before in the last game. The nerves perhaps getting to the members of Darwin here as they get another shot at the goal there, but just not able to get too close. Nix punches it into the back of Sebastian. Sebastian's like, really, bro? You're going you're gonna to play me with another chat one? As Rhombus and Sebastian butt heads. And the ball kind of looked in no man's land for a little bit. Yeah, and with... Two minutes and 20 seconds left. We do want to see Christian Brother College potentially put a goal in, but they are keeping the pressure up. They don't have anyone in the defense. If they got a good clear there coming out from Darwin High School, they could have gotten a goal, but that does leave Longhorn by himself. Big boy Jim takes the opportunity and takes the net. Yeah, look, like, I like the idea, but look at this. Now, all three members of Darwin High School were so prepped to go on offense that no one was willing to rotate back, and then they lost possession of the ball through a fantastic steal, and suddenly it's the, oh, crap, guys, we got to go back. We, we've left it behind. And at that point, Vital like, it's simply far too little, far too late. Yeah, well, the mistakes at Christian Brother College turned into the mistakes of Darwin High School as they tried to capitalize on the mistakes of Christian Brother College. I know, too many mistakes, but it wasn't really a mistake when they were able to get a goal off the back of it. Three members committing Jimmy. Drew. Dude. That was a beautiful dribble there. I'm a little bit heartbroken he didn't get the goal as a result of it, as we're seeing Rhombus on a nice play here. Sandals should be able to contest this on that too many problems, and there's no follow-up, actually. Rhombus was kind of as left on his own devices there. Hmm. Yeah, well, Nyx has the ball, punches it with a little bit of a pinch in front of net, but good clears coming out from Dirty Sandals to be able to alleviate some of that. But with the amount of clears coming out from Darwin High School, they really don't want this ball anywhere near their net. Doesn't have any boost to work with either. Seeing ball still hanging out midfield. Uh, it is a lot of clearing coming out from both sides here. Sebastian, very aggressive. Maybe a, a total shift coming out into Christian brothers as we're seeing you know, a bit more just recklessness throwing yourself at the ball to try and prevent a second round of overtime here coming out because i don't think i really team particularly wants to hit overtime unless it's absolutely necessary to continue in so but so far oh sandals might be able to break the defense actually but firehawk once again this man is coming up huge for the defense yeah coming off the backboard a beautiful spot to be in but no one is ready for that shot. Ashley Firehawk is up. He's not going to be able to get that right in front of net. Nick doesn't get the connection there, and Rhombus was not in position either. Unfortunate spot to be in. Nick's trying to get a touch in, but he wasn't able to do so. Big Boy Jim now puts it in front. He puts away a lot of boost to be able to get this ball in front of goal. And oh my gosh, this is another overtime coming into this game. It looks it to be the case, Deco, because I just don't see how this one's going to net itself in unless we get some crazy goal coming out that hits the ground. That will be overtime once again. Do or die. Darwin, they can get this. It's going to be great for them. But it looks like Sebastian not able to get his next issue. Rhombus is able to get the aerial there and leads the charge with no boost. Tries to get a punch onto net. They're not going to be able to do that. But Nick's not a good spot that he wants to put in. He gets a good clear, though. Puts it into the corner. Not good enough to punt it out of the way. R Longy Rhombus is going to be able to get some form of a clear. Passes it over to uh, Firehawk. And now they're on the attack. Yeah, it looks like Sebastian took the time to ram a defender out of, like, another, another player out of the way just to ensure that a point was made there. Uh, you got to respect that kind of pettiness as Firehawk. Tries to get an offensive running. And I really want Firehawk back, man. His defense is fantastically clutch when it has to be. So make him one of your main mans on the D. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he can't rotate up forward. And he does seem to be very strong when it comes to that. But now they're put on the defense. Firehawk, it's up to him. You have to hold it. Not able to. Jimmy once again getting the overtime goal here. Look at this. Sandals, like, thank you very much for this. Firehawk, I don't think he had any boost. He couldn't do anything. We've reached a full reverse sweep here, Tico. One more game decides everything. It's three for three.
it's an even game. You don't even have to consider this as Christian Brother College are potentially coming back with four goal, four wins in a row. The, all they really need to do now is win one game. It is a best of one at this point. That's how they need to consider it. But that's where you hope. But for Christian Brothers, I actually think you don't consider this the best of one. I think you look at this game and, as you said before, ride the momentum that has gotten you here. You have just won four games, sorry, three games in a row. Ride that momentum, ride that aggression, and keep it going. Darwin, though, they have to start thinking this is the best of one, man. They started so well, and now they've just completely fallen apart. Hmm. Yeah, they lost their momentum. Christian Brother College, yeah, they up took it. And yeah, I think you're right. They need to maintain it. They have three wins in a row. And if they don't think about the odds, they should just think about the momentum they've picked up for themselves. Because the odds, if you're looking at four wins in a row, not particularly high. But the way that they are playing, it really is going to be a strong potential for them to be able to take this one back. Now, bold prediction here, Tico. We're going to go into overtime. And big big boy Jimmy will somehow get the goal against Firehawk again. That's your how this is going to That's end. your prediction. That is my prediction. It's setting it in stone now. I think, I honestly think Firehawk is going to take that goal. Yo, uh, I want to, but the issue is look at the last couple games. Big boy Jimmy has been the man to put it in and he's managed to get it around Firehawk who I still want to say coming into the final game, I think Firehawk is like MVP material the way he's been playing. The issue is that Jimmy just able to find that clutch opening in those last seconds. We'll find out, will that be the case? Five minutes on the clock for the final game here for the Rocket League match between Christian Brothers College and of course, Darwin High School. Everything to play for, everything to lose for these two teams. Mm, yeah, Jimmy is definitely someone that they have to make sure that they get those challenges up because they cannot leave him time to be able to get those dribbles on, to be able to get those shots off. Dirty Sandals seeing what he can do here. A good clear from Nyx. Get yeah, anything more than that though, Sebastian? Attempt to set up, remember set up close to the center. Sandals, no, misses that completely, but Minx not able to get the policy. Jimmy with the nice, easy clear. And coming into this final game, the teams are definitely taking it a lot slower, a lot less aggressive coming out. Yeah, well, Dirty Sandals is putting into the corner, trying to get some pressure going off the back of that, but uh, fortunately for his team, he does a, he is able to maintain the pressure with Sebastian. He's not going to be able to put that into that corner, but hopefully they can send it somewhat towards the goal. <laughs> not enough pace on that one. Trying to get some cheeky goals, but that's not going to be able to get that. Yeah, any goal you can take, though, no matter how cheeky, is definitely one you want to look for. It's Firehawk trying to get an offensive working there. Sebastian, though, with the aerial interception, slows it all down. Nink's getting beaten around a little bit there as he tries to do something. Firehawk once again with a nice clear. He's going to try slam it in, but Dirty Sandals ain't going to let that one pass. No, beautiful spot to be able to save that goal. And I, he potentially could have put that in a better position, but he just wanted to put as much pace behind the ball and see what he can do. Dirty Sandals, there's <laughs> fire in his eyes. I know that I know that look all too well, Tico. It's how I play Rocket League. I find someone who's just prepping for defense, and I'm coming, to this, coming in for that demo. As we're seeing big boy Jimmy trying to set up in the middle, not working out there. Minx and Rhombus trying to set up. Almost argument between the two guys about who is meant to be taking the ball up. Yeah, not too great of a communication there, but that does mean that Christian Brother College can capitalize on that 1v1 here. He's not going to take the dribble though, giving Minx the ball basically. Jimmy up in the end, Minx once again with a clear across the goal. Fine. Shouldn't be anything too much. Rhombus trying to play aggro here, but he's got the boost to make it work, but he just hasn't got the backup nor the positioning. So he will be forced to disengage. We're seeing Firehawk try and slow the point. And Jimmy hunts it over one, but not able to get the second flick there past Firehawk, who continues to hold that line for defense. Yeah, Firehawk, a beautiful display of what he's capable of, but now they're trying to send it down the other way only one man in defense firehawk has rotated for that back post though so a beautiful save is going to come out <laughs> big boy jimmy shows the other man of the team that he is no place to be standing think still. jimmy's just tired of firehawk constantly blocking his offensive rounds i think so like i don't blame him necessarily but now seeing once again nix though gets the ball. and there's no one back on defense nix actually does it that doesn't matter gets it in Two minutes left on the 
o'clock, Darwin have found an opening to get a goal. Yeah, Sebastian, he tries to get that save, but Nyx oh. actually takes a little bit of a, a loop or a, a flick coming out from him as he slows down the pace of the ball, lobs it right over, right over Sebastian, and he takes an easy slow goal. Now, I would say normally that Christian brothers are probably going to be feeling the pressure, feeling the worry. This is the reverse sweep. They're probably still on a great mood considering how this game has gone for them so far. With a minute 40 oh left my in the gosh. Pod, but No, you can't be forgetting your defensive rotations. One goal in and they decide that, well, they don't decide, but they lose track of what they need to do to play against Darwin High School. Because it's going back to the first and second game where they are now capitalizing on their massive clears and no one is ready for that. They, I mean, we saw this in the first couple games. Of the game. That's how Darwin were able to get their early lead in this series, finding the fact that Christian Brothers weren't rotating properly and getting long range counter attacks as a result. Now, in this final game, unfortunately, Christian Brothers, they've fallen back into the old habit that oh. lost them the early game. And Jimmy decides, no, I will drag you to victory whether you like it or not. A beautiful display of teamwork here. Look, Sebastian's going for the demo. Try something, but Nyx is already up in the air. That's fine. I, I just love the, the teamwork play that Sebastian decided he was going to go for. Big boy Jimmy, he took it up in the air, so the communication was a little bit lackluster there, but they did manage to show off what they're capable of when it comes to a 2v1. Dang. Oh, so close on this one. I'm getting nervous anytime someone goes up to the ball. And one minute left on the clock, one goal in favor of Darwin High School for now. Sandal sliding into the goal, should be able to hold that without too many problems here. But the pressure, you can feel it as Jimmy goes through a long range shot by Hawkeye. But hold, the double tap from Jimmy. Is there any more follow up in the air? It doesn't look like that one. Rhombus gets the clear. Yeah, a demo coming out from Big Boy Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, he's, he's, he potentially should bring out the murder mark. That's oh, no murder way! Nick, are you kidding me? Not a good spot. Sebastian tried to take a dribble. All He saw Nyx coming a little too late, though. And he, unfortunately, Nyx takes capitalization of that one, takes the ball right off Sebastian. And they do manage to score a third goal with 30 seconds left. Now you've got to be feeling under the pressure if you're Christian Brothers. Because you've now got to really put it pedal to the metal. You cannot afford to miss anything coming in here. But it doesn't look great as Sandals. Oh no, he gets taken out of the game as well through that demo. With the time clicking down, it's looking worse and worse for a recovery. If this works though, no, Jimmy couldn't get that to work. Yeah, puts that into the corner. Time waster is a beautiful display of what they can do to do that. Dirty Sandals, it doesn't look like he's too happy with the outcome of this one. And unfortunately, no overtime. The clock ticks down to one, ball touches the ground. And Darwin High School, they take the seventh game in this best of seven. It was such an intense game. Hell, an intense series there, Tico. Everything on the line. And <laughs> Darwin High School, you had to be nervous because you've been reverse sweep by this school before. Mm. They were coming for you again, and you were able to find your openings by punishing them ironically the same way you punish them at the start of the series that got you your three game lead yeah uh, it really was a great potential for christian brother college to be able to bring this one back and i i really thought that they could have done that there was it was an even game up until the point where the clear goals came out from darwin high school um we saw that christian brother college they gave up a little bit on their rotation towards the defense, making sure they were ready for those clears because they were doing so well with those with game number four, five, and six. But then that first goal coming out from Darwin High School, the clear goal seemed that they just didn't, they weren't prepared for it anymore. Hmm. They dropped their guard against the very thing that they raised their guard against at the start of the series. It's almost a bit ironic that that's the way that they fall. But, you know, that's just how it be sometimes, unfortunately. You lower your guard and you just were not able to raise it further. So, but at the end of the day, Darwin High School were able to come out with the victor. Now, Tico, 
there were quite a few things in that game that you do have to say were dead out plays and of course some players who did really really well if you had to give out an mvp for that bang year of a best of seven that got to game seven who are you showering with commendations well, honestly, I think that we need to take a couple minutes to discuss this because they <laughs> are, there are so many, like, this team is full of players that had potential. I mean, Longing Rhombus, he did so much work for his team. He, he put so much pressure, but talking about pressure, so did Nyx. He was the one that put so much pressure in the early game, made sure that when they had possession, uh, when Christian Brother College had possession, he was the one challenging that. And Firehawk, just a massive powerhouse in the defense. So I think we'll have to take a short break. We're going to have an interview as well um, just after the short break. And then we'll decide our MVPs right after that. So guys, stick around because we'll be right back with an interview from, I believe, Darren High School. Mm-hmm. 